Hello guys, today I have a little bit of a different episode, so this is not Pixel Art Academy 101 as I usually do it, but I wanted to show you how uh, the audio engine is working. This is pretty much going to be an instructional video how to use it in case you were using the source code. It's kind of instructions for the uh, audio guide, it's going to do all the sounds and music, but I'm going to give you just a short demo at the start, like a minute or two, if you want to just check it out how it kind of looks like uh, just check that out and so yeah let's go in here's the audio editor this is how it looks like um, it's all made out of nodes and uh, things propagate downwards towards the output and so this is actually right now I'm making sounds for the terrace so let me actually just show you how this works in practice so we are at the terrace location we're terrace and then we're gonna go to the concourse and here the beach and then we go east you can hear the doors closing, uh, like automatic doors, and now we're here at the concourse. The sounds are kind of muffled, you can hear just a little bit left. And I'm not sure, probably it's not even picking up, because I'm just playing it through uh, my computer. And then we will go back out, hear the doors opening again, and yeah. If you look at how this looks here, you can see that here the uh, these wires are a little bit darker than the other ones, and then when I'm gonna go here, to the terrace you know they're gonna light up and so here you see this is the sound the 42 second loop of the beach going on and you can see here it's actually coming out so uh, you can see if now these lines are normal and then if I you know this is actually sound coming down the lines uh, down the down the wire so when I connect it you know this one goes in and here we have a B quad filter, which is now not engaged. So this is just passing through the same thing, or actually this one is passing in the same thing. There we go, 40. This is passing the whole thing. And now this is one of an envelopes. If we go back to the concourse, you're gonna see this one drop down and we have here are the normal sounds and the, here they are a little bit more muffled. So that's just kind of a short demo of this system. Uh, I have also another, so here's we have some oscillators as well. A few different effects of coming in and out. Here's a si sine wave and then you know it has sawtooth waves and all this kind of stuff you uh, would expect and it's all running in the browser that's also one thing it's like the browsers have with the web audio interface they have caught up to uh, the same thing as you could do in normal video games so I'm super excited this is all working in the browser and now I'm gonna go into the whole instructions how all the instructions how this is the terrace sounds are actually being constructed all right all right so we're gonna create the sounds for the terrace um, and first of all we're gonna create a new audio file here we can give it a name we're just gonna call it terrace and so here on the right we have all the different nodes that we can build uh, our sounds from and the one we're gonna start first is the sound which is just represents like an mp3 file uh, you can link it to anywhere in the internet so uh, right now we're just going to use one that I have uh, prepared here in the public folder. So if I go to the public folder of Pixel Art Academy, inside Lens of Illusions World, we're going to use Beach Soundscape 3. So I'm just going to type it in, uh, start with a slash so it just starts from the public folder. Otherwise you can do whatever mp3 you want. And then if the mp3 is fine, you're going to see a preview. It's 42 second sound sample. So next thing we need to play this sound, we are going to use the player and you can, whenever you play something down, you can uh, click on the name to expand it and contract it. And the player, so we're going to connect the buffer to it and then we're going to also connect the out to the output. So output is the final node where uh, you need to connect stuff to and so you just connect down here. You can also open it and then if you need to change it, you can, you know, uh, replace it in this way. 
Okay, so that's going to be our output. So right now you see, notice that nothing is playing, even though it's, it's connected, because we have to kind of press on the, kind of like pressing on the keyboard play key. So you got to wire something in that's going to say, well, you should play now. So the easiest version is we're just going to use a number. Um, and this number is by default zero. And if it's one, it's going to be kind of the key is pressed. And for zero, it's not pressed. So when I take this down, you're going to see that this is going to change from uh, dark blue to light blue as soon as you go up to one. And you can see, so here, you know, dark and light. And you can see here, it's actually showing the output of the waveform that's coming from, from this sound buffer. So you can actually see what's going on uh, on those lines what kind of effects you are having all right so and you can so you can use this as a kind of key you can also press up up and down to just quickly change it if you want if you want to test some stuff out so that's a start but because we want this sound to play only when we're at the terrace we're actually going to use another thing so i can just drag down here is the delete uh, if you want to delete a node and we're actually going to use a location and so the location there, these are, this is a list of all the locations in the game and we want to use Spaceport Terrace because this is the terrace of the, this is the start of the game, this is where the game starts. So we're going to use the terrace and you can see that this value is going to be true if the current location is here and otherwise it's going to be false. So right now it's false. And to test this here at the very bottom, there's going to be a preview of the location we're currently at. And so right now we're at no location, we're going to choose Spaceport Terrace. And you can see now as soon as I switched it, this started playing. And then if I switch away, it's not going to play. So, you know, if you just want to stop playing sounds, just go to another location. So you can just switch this way. Or if you don't want it to play, you can also just take this one off and on. Uh, you know, just, just when you're testing stuff out. So one thing that I don't like is that the sound immediately cuts off when I leave the location. So what, and also we, when enters. So when we enter, it's kind of fine because the sound already has like a, uh, a slow fade in. So let's go back to the terrace. Where are we? Terrace down here. So this one already has, but let's say that we also wanted to have a slower fade in. Let's say that this sound didn't have a fade in. So we're gonna use an um, attack release, attack decay sustained release node. And in between here, we're also gonna use a gain node. So we're gonna change the gain based on attack you know, with some sort of uh, ADSR envelope. So here we're gonna put in a gain node. So we gotta wire this one here and then out. And, you know, if we put this to zero, it's gonna be zero. And then, you know, as we go up, you can see how it starts. And so, oh yeah, one more thing. So you see now the sound stopped. We can turn on the loop to actually have it uh, to keep keep it playing so let's just rewire it and so now when it starts playing it's just gonna keep on looping and there are some other options that I'm not gonna go into right now but yeah basically here you can make it louder you can make it quieter and the way what we want to do is we want to make it louder and quieter based on these numbers here so ADSR node is going to output a value that we this define here. That's number one. So it, it's going to go from zero to one. Like if we wanted to go from zero to ten, we would just change that. And then attack is attack decay and release are the times. So in seconds. So we want one second attack. We don't want any decay. Um, and also sustain. We should just sustain whatever amplitude we put in. Um, and so we're just gonna so this would so this for example this would take one second to go to 10 and then it would stay at 10 for what for however long the input is pressed and then it would release we also want it to release at one 
Um, but let's say that we put this 0 0.5, so then this would take one second to get to 10, then it would decay immediately to zero, but let's say that we wanted to take it, I don't know, 0 0.5 seconds to decay, um, and then it would sustain at 0 0.5, and then it would take one more second to release. And we can actually see this, so if we, and, and the output, we want to control the gain. And the way this is also going to work, so this one is going to go from 0 to 10. Let's actually do it from 0 to 2, so it's not going to be too loud. Um, 0 to 2. Actually, well, it's going to be better seen if I just go amplitude up to 1, um, because of what I'm just going to about to show you. So let me connect this one, and you can see how this actually raised up to 1, then decayed down to 0 0.5, and now if I go away, it's going to, in one second, it's going to go down to zero. So you can actually see how this envelope is just by seeing how this uh, line vibrates as well. So, so again, go to terrace, boom. But what we actually want is we want to have no decay, sustain and just at one. So now we have a, let's have a one or maybe two second attack. So it nicely fades in and then a very gentle release of the five. So let's see, let's go away. Ah, but you see it cut off immediately. And this is because here, as soon as we leave the terrace location, this one stops, uh, this number becomes false. And so it stops playing this sound. You see how I have the play control? So it's going to be start and stop. So what we need to do is because the release is going to be five seconds longer. We need to keep this kind of key pressed for five seconds longer, even when this one changed. And so to do that, we're actually going to have here, we have a sustain value. And so this value here, instead of just going straight to the player, uh, we're going to, sorry, we're going to connect it here. So you can take whatever value it's going to output it. It's going to keep it for however seconds you set here. So we're going to set it. Hey, keep it for five seconds. You can just leave it like this. And so now when we go to the terrace and you're going to be able to see even this one, when it becomes dark, this one's going to stay light for five more seconds. So let's go to the terrace. See, they all light up. It's raised into seconds to the attack. And now when I go somewhere else, see this one stays lit for five more seconds and then it goes off. And in those five seconds, it, this one just had enough time to go all the way down. All right. And also I should mention uh, the number that's coming out of here. So it's right now it's going from zero to one. That one gets added to this value. So let's say that I put here one, it's actually gonna keep on playing at one because uh, now it's gonna be one plus whatever comes down the line. So it's gonna be one plus zero and then one plus one will equal two. That's not shown. Um, here, uh, but you can see it on the output that as soon as I'm going to get to the terrace, there's still going to be some fading just because because the sound has the fading, but you can see, let's go to, so you, you can see that this still has effect. And then if I go away, you know, it's going to fade down to two and then immediately cut off. So just know that whenever you're taking an output of a node uh, to some of the parameters there actually get added to whatever number you have here. Okay, so this is the start of, uh, you know, going to the terrace and away from it. What do I want is to also have the sounds playing when I go inside. So from the terrace, you can go into the concourse uh, the concourse is inside and the terrace is outside. So when you're on the terrace, you should hear the beach sounds. And then when you get into the concourse, I also want you to hear the beach sounds, but I want to have them kind of muffled down. I, you know how you can hear when you're through the buildings, you kind of just hear the lower frequencies. So I'm actually going to, uh, after this gain, I'm going to put a filter node. So here we have the big wet filter. Um, just have to put this one more down. Yeah, right now it's a little bit, you don't see that much on the screen unless you have a big monitor. So we'll see how this goes in the future, uh, if this is going to work out. 
And so now let's try it out. Let's, let's just go to the terrace. So you can hear, so this is our low pass, so all the high frequency are getting cut off. Um, and you know, I can go even less. And then if I go high, you know, it's letting everything through. And we have a couple of different uh, types. So there's a low pass, a high pass, band pass. And the, the blue line shows how the, um, how the response, response is going to be and then the, like how the amplitude will respond and then the dark green line it shows the phase response. Because you have the all pass filter, just changes the phase, which honestly I have no idea what that means. Um, but I'm pretty sure if you're an audio guy you know what that is. There's the notch, peaking. Oh yeah, peaking. So peaking needs to have the Q raised up, I think. Either the Q or the gain. No, I think this one has to have the gain. The gain goes down to like, yeah, there we go. And so if you want to know what any of these uh, elements need to be, so yeah, if you just go to Google and type web audio quad filter, just take the first link should be to the web APIs at Mozilla Developer Network and then here you have explanations of what the frequency Q and gain mean for each of the type of quad filters and it goes the same for most of the other nodes as well. So now we have this filter so what we want is to actually change only uh, we want to have all the field all the high frequency on and then when we go inside we want the high frequencies to slowly go down we don't want this immediate so immediate change um, so first of all we're going to use a high shelf filter so with the high shelf q i think doesn't matter and then the gain we can change from zero and then we're going to slowly go down to minus 40 so it's going to drop all of the frequencies and we should drop all of the frequencies maybe above 200 so let's actually let's give it a try oh this one's a little bit, we i think we can go higher maybe even more maybe like this and so you know it's gonna be zero or maybe i don't know minus 10 because we're not like if we were right at the beach it would be like this and since we're on the terrace, we're a little bit far away, we're going to go minus 10. And then when we go inside, we go to minus 40. And we can barely hear the outside sounds. And so we want to do that. So basically, we want to go from minus 40 to minus 10, depending on if we are at the terrace or not. Uh, yeah, if we're in the concourse, sorry. So in the concourse is inside. So we're actually, we're gonna do another location node. And this time it's gonna have the concourse. And we wanna do another, another of the envelopes because we wanna slowly go, let's say that we wanna do attack of, let's say that we wanna change it in 0 0.5 seconds and we want to change it from 0 to if we, 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 we want to go from minus 40 and then we want to add up to 30 so we, amplitude should be 30 and then yeah oh but we actually uh, we actually want it the other way around yes so basically if we're on the terrace oh yeah exactly so if we're on the terrace, it, we need to add it. So we're just gonna add 30. And what we actually need to do is we wanna play this whole sound because now if we go to the concourse, the sound stop playing. We have to add also the concourse here and you can add as many as you want. So this, is, this now means that all of these sounds are gonna play at the terrace and the concourse. And where when we are at the terrace, it will also increase the gain of the Oh, and that's a little bit wrong. Um, it will also increase the gain from minus 40, then plus 30. So let's give it a go. So now we're at the terrace, should be minus 40 plus 30. And then when I go outside, you should see this one drop 
in 0.5 seconds when I go to the concourse. Joop, dropped. Back to the terrace. Oh, and it looped. Concourse. And then if we go from the concourse to somewhere else, it'll just slowly die out. Actually, I think this five seconds is a little bit long. Let's go to three. And I think we could actually, if we want it to be, I could just use a number here. This is gonna be a little bit more, uh, almost a little bit too much. I could use the number three here and then put them here like this. Yeah, it's a little bit much. But, uh, and in this case, it's actually not going to s do any summation. So whatever I write here, it's not gonna have, it's not gonna matter. So let's just test it out. Terrace, and then it should in three seconds. One, two, three, drop. So technically you could, you could think, okay, this is the release number. And then this one doesn't even matter. This one doesn't matter either. There you go. Uh, a little bit complicated, but uh, just for shits and giggles. All right, so this works now. As we go in and out from, let's say that we go first to the concourse. Starts playing and you can hear, you can see here uh, that only, so here you can see the original sounds, uh, high frequencies, and then here, because it goes through the filter, you lose those frequencies. And then if we go to the terrace, you're gonna see this one pick up a little bit. And then if we went here up to 40, then it would be original sounds just being passed through. Corn course, there is. So one more thing that I wanted to add is so that the transition is not just as sharp. I wanted to add, let's go to the concourse. I wanted to add the sounds of going through doors when we are changing from terrace to concourse. And for that, we're actually gonna cha use location change. And this one goes from and to, so we're gonna go from from either concourse or terrace going also to concourse and terrace. So, you know, it's either way. You just have to start one of these locations and go to one of these locations. And when that happens, we should also play a sound. Where's the player? There you go. And you can use the search. If there's going to be multiple nodes, you can just use search also to find whatever you need. And this gun you're gonna see, this one is actually a trigger. Um, and it's a trigger because this one's not gonna hold value like this one here. This one's actually gonna just kind of blink on just for, a, just for a millisecond or just for one frame. It's gonna turn on and off. So if we just leave here start and stop, we're gonna look at that in a second. If we would just leave this start and stop, it would immediately stop it. So what we wanna do is switch to start only. And this one is just gonna play the sound all the way to the end no matter if this one goes on and off so it's just gonna initiate it um, and also we can do the, that while it's playing just use the same you know loop options that it had at when it started um, this is but it, in this case it won't matter because we won't be changing these options but just the in general you want to have these two together and these two together unless you're do, trying to do something else so we're going to need another sound. So this time it's going to be, let's see, it's called automatic door. There we go, there's the sound. Connect the buffer. I think this one we can just go out. I don't know if I need to do any gain correction or not. So let's go from the concourse to the terrace. You're going to see this one trigger on. I don't know if I heard anything. This one definitely worked, and this one did work. Maybe I need to do some more gain. Let's actually, just for now, let's isolate this. 
to, to hear just the, uh, the door sound. So from terrace to concourse. Oh yeah, it's very, very quiet. So I'm gonna use another gain node here just to make it a little bit more noticeable. I don't know, I mean, three. Concourse to terrace. I don't know. For now, let's just go. And so you see that, uh, and if I go somewhere else, security, it's not gonna play. If I go to uh, concourse, it's not gonna play. And then only when I go from the concourse to terrace, it starts playing because this trigger gets well triggered. So now let's uh, reconnect this back in. Now we're at the terrace. And when we go to the concourse, hear the doors and then, you know, um, this drops. And then when we go to back to the terrace, we hear the sounds again. And this is how we create changes in Scanner short demo of how this was created. There are other nodes that I didn't go over. One is the oscillator that you should mention. And just to, just to quickly show you, I'm not actually going to play it because um, the sounds coming out from an oscillator are pretty, <laughs> well, you know, uh, rough. And, but I just wanted to show you. And again, you can just use a number to just keep it playing on and off all the time. So here you can see, so you can actually see what kind of wave it's producing. Um, and you, you can use it as an LFO, low frequency oscillator. So, you know, one second sine wave. Um, and then you can just, you know, go up faster, faster. And the faster it goes, the more you can actually see uh, the waveform. And so you have four uh, types of waveforms, sine, the square wave, and this one is kind of more noticeable on low frequencies because it just goes like this. Because uh, I don't draw the horizontal lines. Um, then we have the sawtooth, like this, triangle, all the things that you would expect from... So yeah, there it is. Here's the, here's your, yeah, you can use this as an LFO to any other stuff. So you could, uh, I don't know, you could change the player playback rate of another, of another sound effect. Constant, so yeah, one more like an oscillator, a constant is instead of, you know, performing a wave for like a certain pattern out, it's just gonna keep on outputting this number. So in case that comes useful. And then you could also, you know, take this in now. Now, I mean, this one is just going to repeat whatever, or, you know, you can think of it as adding this number to the signal. Because if this is going to be zero, it's going to add whatever comes into this line. And then, so yeah, this is how you can just add 10 plus to my signal and then take this out. Um, but again, you need to have it started here as well. And it's also all live when, so here, because this one, if we go back, because this one is wired up to terrace and concourse locations. If we, if we go to the game, this should be working, except I need to, for the first time, because this is a web page, you have to click inside of the screen so that voices sound start playing you know you can turn them on and off here as well and the um, also make sure that the audio option is on there we go and so now here we are in the on the terrace and now we're gonna go east so you can see the map here we're in the terrace we're gonna go east into the concourse you can hear the doors and you can still hear the sounds from the beach outside and then if you go further in all the sounds are gonna stop playing and i actually one more thing that i just noticed because this one doesn't have the neighboring locations to this one so here you can see 
let's go back. So from concourse, we can leave up to immigration and gates. We actually need to just create a dummy node. And you can maybe even use this that has gates and immigration. There we go. Just because in, unless those locations are named here, the whole sound won't even get loaded in the game to preserve resources. And so now when we are back here, when we go to the immigration, it's just gonna take those three seconds to fade slowly out. We go back in and hear the beach. You don't hear the beach anymore. But for example, let's say that you wanted to have this low, let's say that the gates are also part of this. So I can just add gates to them. Gates. And then uh, if I reload. And then you, we have, always remember, we have to click. And you can see here that the sounds are actually off. Until I click in, they're going to stop start playing. So gates are playing. We go up. It's the same type. And then we go out. We hear the doors close. We can hear and then we go back in but yeah that's the difference so now when we go down and up you don't hear the doors and then when we go out you also hear the the doors and yeah and that's the that's how this whole thing works so as soon as you have something wired up for any location uh, it's just gonna you can just go back into the game and test it out to see if you like how things are sounding